There's a lot of opinions on what a pit bull is. <laughs> I found since I got my dog, you know, it's a pit, no, it's not. It's this. Anyway, and then there's like there's a school of thought where um, the term pit bull encompasses several breeds, including like a Staffy or American Bully and whatever. And then there's the American Pit Bull Terrier lovers of the actual AKA breeder, whoever it is, the the breeder association, whatever, that recognizes this dog as an American Pit Bull Terrier. Um, and they're smaller than we expect. They're not as boxy. She's, they're not as boxy. Oh, I got to stop her. Uh, anyway, she's trying to get run over by the tractor. Good girl. I got her on remote. Anyway, I was surprised to see that she responded to the collar without Herm Springer training her first. But um, I understood that people used electronic fences, and I thought, well, that's the same thing. If I, if I, right when she goes to step off the property line, and she's like, maybe I shouldn't. I had it on this tingle. Yeah, and she, she just turned her head where, where it went in her neck. She was like, what was that? What was that? What I tell you? And then I, well, I trained her that the beep means good by putting food in her mouth every time I, the beep, but she would sit. But this was yesterday. I know I'm off track, but anyway, I'm talking about how do you recognize a breed. Calm. That was a good calm. I get a beep for that. Anyway, good for her. There she is. But she looks to me, I probably couldn't hardly see her, like the American Pit Bull Terrier, um, shape of her body. I need to measure her, like her height and all this crap. But I mean, really, what's, what's one breed to the next? I mean, yeah, there's characteristics. At any rate, um... I forget what my point was. There's a DNA test. That's what it is. There's a DNA test called Embark. No, you can't take your bone outside because then you'll just bury it in the woods. No, but you can go out. Go ahead. Cookie, go. No, you can't take your bone. Cookie, go. Good girl. I got a beeper for that. That was a good cookie, go. No, you can't have your bone. She wants the bone. She's like, dude, I got it. No, you can't. You can't have the bone outside. No, go play. At any rate, this I'm looking at reviews. Okay, Cookie, come in. Had to give her the good marker. Okay, you stay in here. The reviews for the Embark DNA test. Be like, yeah, it was good to know what my dog was because I was looking for health issues. Now my vet can help me with blah, blah blah blah. And this one person sends a picture of his dog, and it looks like a poodle-ish mix. And he says. Gives, gives it one star. Well, I have a hard time believing that one of my one of my dog's parents was a Chihuahua. Is that what the DNA test told you? No. He put the results up. It said 17% Chihuahua. He said, well, my dog is big. It's 28 pounds, and it doesn't bark. And it... Oh, so now you know exactly what every single Chihuahua in the world does. Do you know there's Chihuahuas that don't bark furiously? There are, dude. Why did you pay for this test if you were going to, like, assume that it didn't know what they would... Like, either you're going to decide that these people know what they're talking about or they don't and then you're this guy's going well no they don't because my dog is this well you know what i've seen <laughs> some dna results that come out you know like interestingly crazy because well, for instance i have a half brother and i've seen his photograph but i have not seen him in person his face is almost identical to my son's face but when their dna was compared on 23 and me he shared very little DNA with that uncle on that side, although he looked just like him. My other half-brother on my father's side, my son shared more than the average for the relationship that they had and didn't look anything like him. So, sir, that can't believe that one of my dog's parents was a chihuahua. The DNA test doesn't tell you what the other parent was. Like, what did he think, that that 17% chihuahua was the uh, one of the dogs? Maybe the chihuahua was mixed amongst the two parents, and other traits came forth, the larger dogs that it was mixed with. So this guy's a one star. I'm like, well, all right, then you're disappointed to find out that your dog has got a chihuahua on his. So what? That's like saying, yeah, I'm really disappointed to find out that there was, you know, like African heritage. My friend, she got tested and she tested 1% Congo, and she's white, and like English, and all kinds of white, And but there was 1% Congo. She was like, ah, that's why my hair is so curly, because it's extremely curly. Uh, it was funny, but, you know, so, I don't know, DNA, what you gonna do? 
Uh, they only know so much. And they only know what they know based on what they've tested already to compare it to. So, sir, calm down. Oh, I paid $100 for it. Oh, my dog's not a chihuahua. Well, yeah, well, have it tested again by a different, and I'll bet you, you'll get it. I'll bet you'll see the chihuahua in your dog. You might, it might not say 17% at a different company, but it'll be there. Unless this company is a complete scam, which is not a complete scam. Not 100% of a scam. I mean, there's got to be some truth to it. I just, all right, it's a mid-level scam. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just curious to see what we're looking at here. Because I, I saw photographs of dogs that look like this. Come to find out their lab and some other smaller dog mix and whatever, whatever. But shapes out to look like uh, an American Pit Bull Terrier. But it has, is not one at all. But I do think she is because she's got all these traits. Uh, her personality and things. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, she's a dog. And she likes, she likes raw bones.